If you're trying to look chic and sophisticated and expensive this summer, you're not gonna get there by wearing this, or this, or this, or this. Nothing wrong with any of those items, but they're just not gonna give you that look. They'll give you some other look, which is great, but they're just not gonna give you this look. So this video, we are specifically talking about tips to help you look this elevated, sophisticated, chic woman that you are, like you have it all together and you drink champagne at the beach. <laughs> I got some tips for you and also some specific items that automatically give this look. And I even have some tips if you wanna pull this look off when you're going to the beach or the pool. Let's get started. The first tip to look expensive and chic and sophisticated this summer is to take advantage of this minimalist, minimalism trend that is happening right now in the fashion world. Because a sleek, minimalist outfit with a little bit of structured detail, like a pleat or a cuff or maybe a gold button or two, can look very expensive and chic and put together and is very easy easy to do even if you're on a budget. I say take advantage of it because since it is a big trend, you can really find this kind of look in so many places, lots of different styles for lots of different bodies. And so this is a look that really doesn't ever go out of style. It's just sometimes it's on trend and sometimes it's just a classic. So I feel like this is a great place to start for those casual everyday looks. I will of course link everything I'm showing you in this video and I'll also link some budget friendly items if anything is a little bit more expensive. Now let's say you want a beautiful dress for a fancy event or just because you want a beautiful dress for your summertime just being you or maybe on a vacation. This could be a day event, a night event or whatever. If you look at the rich and wealthy in real life and what they're actually wearing to these kinds of events in the summertime, they aren't only wearing neutrals and designer dresses and diamonds. Like I feel like people associate with rich and wealthy wealthy people. They're wearing metallics and fun prints and interesting fabrics and florals and bold colors and really having fun with their clothes. However, what you don't normally see them wearing to events like this are super revealing clothing. You don't see them head to toe in five different trends. You don't see them in head to toe logos. You don't see them in trends that are generally considered kind of dated. See this video for more information about those. They're dressed in a way that suits their own style, fits them really well, and looks high quality. If I were to guess, also, they probably don't wait until the last minute to find a dress. If you're trying to look your best, most fabulous self at any event with any kind of style, you definitely wanna plan ahead. <laughs> I have learned that many times the hard way. Now I wanna to talk to you about our sponsor for this video, which is Neiman Marcus. Neiman Marcus has some of the most beautiful dresses right now. Neiman Marcus carries one of my favorite printed brands. It's called Farm Rio, and they are the most, they've gotta be the most original brand I've ever seen, and very high quality items. All of their items are made out of very high quality linen, or cotton, or viscose, or even a blend. Like this jumpsuit right here is a linen and viscose blend. This is a Brazilian brand and all of their items have amazing prints like this. The next two dresses are a very similar style. I, I am obsessed with this kind of style with a V-neck and then a little bit of a cutout and then it's more forgiving throughout the midsection. Like I just love this style so much, a little bit longer sleeve. And I love these two dresses. They're both by Farm Rio. The one on the right, the red with the print is a beautiful dress. It is lined. It is just a great fit. It's a very soft, breezy feel. And then of course the green is a cotton eyelet dress and it is a beautiful, green color. I've just been obsessed with this color. It's very on trend and I'm just very I'm loving the green this year. This dress just screams summer. It is a cotton dress, super comfortable and breezy. It's lined to the knee. It has these cute little lobsters on it. I just feel like this is so like Nantucket or <laughs> the Hamptons or something. Also love that it has pockets. Another brand I absolutely love that is sold at Neiman Marcus is Susanna Monaco. And you, I wore one of these dresses to my Mexico City trip that you guys commented on, but she does a really great job of a jersey fabric. And it's like a high quality jersey, very forgiving, fits very well and super comfortable. Like this red jumpsuit is so comfortable. I like it feels like pajamas, but obviously it's very, you know, you could definitely wear this out. I feel like this is great for a vacation or like a night out somewhere. This white dress is in the same jersey fabric, also by Susanna Monaco, and it is thick enough, it's opaque, you don't see through it, you can't see anything through it, and it has a great lay and great fit to it. 
love that this dress is comfortable enough to wear during the day with the straw bag. And then I love it with the black bag as well because it could definitely be a nighttime look. So great day to evening dress, a great travel right dress. Right now they're running a special where you can get $50 off a purchase of $200 or more. That will expire soon. So you'll definitely want to check them out as soon as you end this video. I will link all of these items below in the description box and let's continue. Now in the summer, during the day, it's super hot and you might be wearing shorts or some kind of dress or skirt with a very short hemline. You just wanna make sure that you're not wearing shoes that are like four and five inches with these short shorts or short skirts. It just doesn't help give off that chic and effortless and relaxed and expensive look when you're wearing it during the day. It just looks a little bit try hard. And one of the main elements of this look, and I feel like so many people love this look, is because it just looks very effortless, but it looks very fabulous. Someone is very beautifully dressed and chic and elegant, but they don't look uncomfortable or like they're trying too hard. Save those stilettos for a fancy event or sometime you're going out at night, but for during the day, you want a low heel or a slide or a sandal. It's gonna look way more relaxed and effortless and like you're just fabulous without even trying very hard. When in doubt, wear white. White makes a color pop. It can look very classy and sophisticated. It can make the rest of your outfit look expensive and chic and is the number one best color when trying to look expensive and chic and sophisticated. Off-white ivory works great here as well. A couple caveats with white is you wanna make sure that you have some nude underwear, some seamless underwear to go underneath those things. You don't want anyone to see your underwear through your clothes. You wanna make sure your white clothes are not super tight. Super tight white clothes can definitely start looking a little bit cheap, even if they're not. And of course you wanna make sure there's no stains on it or rips or holes or anything like that. I know that last one is asking a lot. <laughs> Oxy is great. When you're buying white and you're buying a thinner fabric, like a gauzy white or a linen or just something that's you know not super thick, you wanna make sure it's not skin tight. A lot of times I will try the size up, but you wanna make sure that it's loose fit. Like white jeggings, jeggings, you'd pro they, just, they probably just need to go away anyway, but for real, white jeggings never should have been invented. <laughs> Bright and bold colors can be absolutely beautiful in the summertime and definitely can look chic and sophisticated and expensive. However, the best selection here would be a color that is in a natural fiber or a blend. Even high quality rayons and viscose and tinsel can look amazing in a beautiful color. You definitely wanna look at the fabric content before you purchase. Let's say there's a beautiful green top that looks perfect for summer. You love this style, but it's like $10 and it's a 100% polyester. There is a very good chance that the top will have a shiny plastic sheen to it, which can potentially look cheap and also a high chance it wasn't made well. And with colors, you can see imperfections like bad sewing or a bad stitch a lot more than you can with neutrals. And not all polyester looks bad, but especially if it's blended with a natural fiber, but it's just something to pay attention to before you decide to purchase. Like everybody says, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Now there are some items that you can look for in your own clothes or when you go shopping that almost always give this chic and sophisticated and expensive look. Shirt dresses, button downs, anything with a classic stripe like blue and white or black and white or black and taupe, the high neck, mock neck or turtleneck tops, eyelet tops and dresses that are made well. Like I usually look for the ones that are cotton, not polyester pleated trousers, pleated shorts. And I'm just gonna throw in two piece sets because they've been on trend lately and even though they're not always gonna be on trend and we may get sick of them, but if you get one in a natural fiber or a natural fiber blended with a synthetic, they just really can look very chic and sophisticated, but they're a very easy outfit. Whatever look you're going for, and I've said this in many videos, but I think it's really important to pay attention to which accessories you wear, or more so, make sure you add accessories to your outfit, especially in the summertime when we can't wear a lot of layers and add more clothing. For this chic and sophisticated and expensive look, it's important to add more natural jewelry, natural stones. You wanna stay away from plastic jewelry and those fake stones that are supposed to look like stones, but they really kinda of look a little bit fake. Just stay away from those. I feel like it's easy enough to find gold-plated jewelry that's not that expensive, and it can look a lot more expensive than it actually is. Pearls are great, and obviously diamonds work really well here. I would definitely look for a pair of sunglasses that fit your face, maybe a little bit oversized, that kind of have that little je ne sais quoi look about them, whatever speaks to you. Because I do feel like sunglasses can be a very important accessory, especially in the summertime when we're outside a lot and we just you know, need other things to help our outfit. A straw or raffia bag looks amazingly chic and sophisticated in the summertime. 
I love this paired with almost any outfit, but whenever you need something a little more elevated than a straw bag, I like adding a more structured handbag to your outfits. A structured handbag can make your outfit look a little more elevated and sophisticated and just a little bit more dressed up than a very slouchy bag or a huge tote. I know this gets mentioned in like every video about looking expensive and chic and sophisticated, but it's just worth mentioning because it's so important and it's like the easiest thing to do if you want to get this look, but you're on a budget. It's to combine neutrals. They just always look so chic and classic and classy, which definitely goes along with looking expensive and you know sophisticated. But it's not to be overlooked and you can definitely add a lot of accessories here. You can add your own flair to it. You can make sure you get styles that you really, really love. Love, but are in neutral colors. It's just a very easy go-to for summertime when you are trying to pull off this look. Now let's say you're going to the beach and you want this look or the pool or whatever for your swimwear. I love neons. I love floral neons and all that good stuff, especially as we get into July and some of us, not me, but other people have a nice tan going on. I just stay completely pasty white. In any case, I feel like they're beautiful. But if you're going for this specific look, I would stick with neutral colors, blacks, navies, even an olive green, or very muted colors, muted color blocked suits. I would stay away from prints for the most part. I mean, there's a few that can look very sophisticated, but I would probably go with a solid color or a color block. Black is always a great color for a swimsuit. The second part of that is it really needs to fit you really well. If it's sagging in the butt or pinching you, um, which happens when you get like a really poorly made swimsuit, it just it's not gonna look as chic and sophisticated as one that really fits you well. Now for a cover-up, a very good option would be a button-down as a cover-up, like an oversized button-down. I love these maxi crochet cover-ups that are super on trend this year. I would stick with white or black or khaki or even a cover-up that perfectly matches your suit. Can be really chic looking and very beautiful. Again, there's nothing wrong with things that aren't these things. Like if it's a printed something or whatever, it's not like it's bad or it doesn't look good. It's just, if you're specifically trying to go this route and like this specific look. Now always remember, these are just general concepts and these are general ideas to achieve this look. You ultimately have to wear what goes with your personal style and what makes you feel beautiful. I feel like the more you look into fashion and the more you just look at the information out there, eventually you're able to really notice a look and be like, oh my gosh, that, I just love that. I wanna create that or I want that for myself and you can tweak it to your own body and style and what can make you feel comfortable and confident. The best looking outfit is gonna be one that you feel amazing in no matter what it looks like. I do love this style many times and I just very much resonate with this style. I think it's very beautiful. Sometimes I feel like it's just fun to be a little tongue in cheek with it because it's an idea, but you know, I love, I love it as a place to start. And also I would definitely not want anyone to think that any of the things that I said are not this look are bad or you shouldn't wear or anything like that. They're just a different look. They're just for a different night, a different look. And you might watch this video and be like, I hate all that. I hate neutrals and I don't like any of those things and I want the opposite. That is <laughs> completely fine. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and got some good ideas from it. I will link everything below. Thank you to Nima Marcus for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out that sale before it ends and I will see you next time.